Hello smart civil engineers, I am Engineer Masroor and you are watching your own YouTube channel Engineering Network. In today's video lecture, our topic is how to calculate quantity of steel for slab, beam, column and footing by thumb rule in just 5 minutes. Okay? So the thumb rule that I am going to explain in this video is very important and if you watch this video completely then I am sure that you will also be able to calculate the quantity of steel and slab, beam, column and footing. So please watch this video completely. Now before we start, if you find this video informative, then please like this video, share it, comment your questions, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for more interesting civil engineering videos. So let's start. Okay. Now before we start, first let me clear one thing, that the result found from the thumb rule will not be accurate. The thumb rule will give you an approximate result and it will give you an idea that how much material could be used in a particular construction work, right? So you cannot say that the result found by the thumb rule are accurate. Now let's solve few examples. So I have a numerical question here which states that calculate the quantity of steel for slab, beam, column and footing using their plans. Now as you can see on your screen, this is the plan of the slab in which the length of the slab is 7 meter, width of the slab is 5 meter and thickness of the slab is 0.125 meter, right? The plan of beam shows that the length of the beam is 6 meter and this is a square beam. So both depth and width of this beam is 0.30 meter, right? Similarly, the plan of column shows that the height or length of column is 8 meter. And this is also a square column. So both depth and width of this column is 0.30 meter. And the plan of footing shows that this is also a square shaped footing. And both its width and length are 4 meter. And depth of the footing is 1 meter. Right? So this is the detailed explanation of these plans. So now let's start calculating the quantity of steel in slab, beam, column and footing. Okay? So first is the slab. Now for the quantity calculation of steel, we need the volume of concrete. Right? So the volume of concrete in slab is equal to length into width into depth. Right? Now here the length of the slab is 7 meter. Width of the slab is 5 meter and depth or thickness of the slab is 0.125 meter. Okay? So the volume of concrete for slab will become 4.375 cubic meter. Right? Now the thumb rule for slab states that use one person steel with the volume of concrete and slab, which means that Whatever the volume of concrete is, we should have to use one person steel of that volume of concrete and slab. Right? So the quantity of steel is equal to volume of concrete into density of steel into thumb rule. Right? Now the volume of concrete is 4.375 cubic meter. Density of steel is 7850 kg per cubic meter and thumb rule for slab is 1% which is equal to 0 0.01. Okay? So the total quantity of steel used in this slab will become 343.43 kg. Right? Next is beam. So same as the slab. Here the volume of concrete in beam is equal to length into width into depth, right? So the length of the beam is 6 meter, width of the beam is 0 0.30 meter and depth of the beam is also 0 0.30 meter, okay? 
So the volume of concrete for beam will become 0.54 cubic meter. Now the thumb rule for beam states that use two person steel with the volume of concrete in beam, which means that whatever the volume of concrete is, we should have to use two person steel to that volume of concrete in beam, right? So the quantity of steel is equal to volume of concrete into density of steel into thumb rule. Here the volume of concrete is 0.54 cubic meter. The density of steel is 7850 kg per cubic meter. And the thumb rule for beam is 2% which is equal to 0.02. Right? So the total quantity of steel used in this beam will become 84.78 kg. Okay? Next is column. So the volume of concrete in column is equal to length into width into depth. Right? Here the length or height of the column is 8 meter. Width and depth of the column is 0 0.30 meter. Okay? So the volume of concrete for column will become 0 0.72 cubic meter. Now the thumb rule for column states that Use 2.5 percent steel with the volume of concrete in column, right? So the quantity of steel in column is equal to volume of concrete into density of steel into thumb rule. Okay? Here the volume of concrete is 0 0.72 cubic meter. The density of steel is 7850 kg per cubic meter. And the thumb rule for column is 2.5 percent which is equal to 0 0.025, okay? So the total quantity of steel used in this column will become 141.3 kg, right? Next is footing. So the volume of concrete in footing is equal to length into width into depth, right? Here the length and width of the footing is 4 meter and depth of the footing is 1 meter. So the volume of concrete for footing will become 16 cubic meter. Okay? Now the thumb rule for footing states that use 0.8% steel with the volume of concrete in footing. Right? So the quantity of steel is equal to volume of concrete into density of steel into thumb rule. Right? Now here the volume of concrete is 16 cubic meter. The density of steel is 7850 kg per cubic meter and the thumb rule for footing is 0.8% which is equal to 0.008. Okay? So the total quantity of steel used in this footing will become 1004.8 kg. Okay? So as you can see by using these thumb rules, it's very easy to calculate the quantity of steel in just few minutes, right? So I hope you would find this video informative and interesting. Please like this video, share it, comment your questions and please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for more interesting civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.